like most about being involved in CHIP is, is their mission, uh, our mission. It's uh, really to help uh, people in need, low-income people, uh, be able to afford and live in uh, decent, affordable housing. And uh, what CHIP does, the way they go about it, and the staff that we have, we have a great staff here at CHIP that puts all these very complicated things together to be able to create that housing. And, and I'm very proud to be part of that. In a nutshell, CHIP provides housing and housing services to qualified individuals in the North State. That's the bricks and the mortar. That's the shelter that we strive to build and the services that we want to provide. But besides the actual structure, I think that CHIP is providing people other opportunities. They're providing them hope, security, uh, a sense of well-being, uh, rootedness, that there's a, a foundation. And when you can give relief to individuals that they know that they can go somewhere where there's running water, that it's structurally sound, that it's uh, roomy enough for their families, there might be a, a backyard, that empowers people to focus on other things in life so that they can achieve greater things. So I did an application and um, and I applied and it was actually really easy because um, the person that I talked to was Raquel and she actually helped me really good. She explained to me the process and everything and um, I loved it. I mean, doing in the house, it was just a life experience. I did it with my son. He was six, part of 16, 17. And um, he enjoyed it. We actually did it um, a year building the house. It was tough, but it was it was good. It was a really good experience that I had um, to building the house. And now, obviously, we love it. Giving a hand up to people in society, and to give them a place to live, uh, affordable housing. Uh, you know the the safety and security of this place with the the doors locking and all that stuff and the rights and responsibilities that we have to live so, here. So the deal is, is, is when, when we can step up and, and, you know, come into this place, it is really, truly a help, you know, and uh, I, I appreciate it for all, all that it represents. I mean, I love this place. 
you know I mean that's why I've been here for 10 years and, and to, to love a place I'm not just you know just throwing that out there because that, that is a kind of a strong word but it, it's the type of place that I believe it is a hand up to people and I've seen people come in here and there's people that are have been in here longer than me you know but the management you know they they keep up on everything they're they're very personable and that's very important in any place that you live especially with apartments uh, apartment buildings and the people they're in you know to to become personable enough with each person and treat treat each person as an individual you know and and uh, you can't ask for much more than that uh, part of my job is to fill units at Campbell Commons and I had come across an applicant who had been on the waiting list for approximately a year and he had been habitually homeless for quite a while. Uh, I didn't ask, but I'm guessing five years or so. Uh, and I had a hard time getting a hold of him because he broke his phone. So I ended up going to the Jesus Center to track him down and finally getting him in to sign the papers and it took about a week and we got him housed and it's the first home he's had in a very long time and I saw him about a week later and he was super clean, clean cut, happy, energetic and like I hadn't seen him before. It's been pretty incredible to, to witness people, how housing has transformed their lives. I recently heard of a homeless man who was determined to find housing. And his story was so powerful for me because he said, you don't know what it's like when you get up in the morning and you've got to pick up all your stuff and then you've got to go to the creek to wash up. And then you have to take your stuff with you because you have no place to put it and you're not, you don't have a refrigerator. I want to move into this housing and he did. And now he has a place where he can lock up his stuff, where he knows where he's gonna sleep where he knows where he's going to have his food, and he's in a community. And I think that's just incredibly powerful. I mean, it's, it feels like, um, along with the grandchildren that just came into my life, my first family, my life's become whole, become complete to be a homeowner. And in, in my early 50s, it's just, uh, and finally do, it's been amazing. And through, through CHIP, this program, that made it all possible.